How to make your RAM run in dual channel mode. Ever since I made the how to install RAM into a desktop computer video, I've still been getting this question a lot, as well as a few others. So I'll try to clear it all up for you once and for all, as fast as possible in this video. So there are special cases where you'll have to consult your motherboard's manual, but most of the time, generally speaking, your memory slot order will go like this, starting from the one that is the closest to the processor socket. A1, A2, B1, and B2. Like a lot of motherboards, this one is color-coded, which will make things a little easier for you to orient. You'll notice that the slots that have the same number are also the same color. So if you have a configuration like this with four RAM slots and two RAM modules, where should you put them? If you want the pair to run in dual channel mode, put them in A1 and B1. Again, the slots with the matching colors. It doesn't matter whether you put them in A1 and B1 or A2 and B2, you'll get the same result. But make sure the two sticks are in the slots that have matching numbers. I repeat, matching numbers, not A1 and A2 or A1 and B2. If you install both cards in any other configuration, the motherboard will have the RAM modules run in single channel mode, which in short is a little slower than dual channel mode. I reiterate, with a motherboard like this, you want to put your cards in the slots with the matching numbers, which subsequently will be in the same color. It doesn't matter if they're red, blue, green, yellow, white, or rainbow. If you want to be absolutely sure, most motherboards will have the memory slots labeled. Just look very closely near and around them. Now, if your RAM slots are not color-coded or labeled, which is typical with OEM computers, basically referring to pre-built desktops that you'd get from companies like Dell or HP, refer to your motherboard's manual. You can usually find a PDF on the internet. Just type in your computer's model and go from there. But usually it's every other slot, regardless of whether they're color-coded or all the same color. Now, if you have four RAM slots and four RAM modules, what do you do? Take a guess. That's right, just fill them all up. You're now going to be guaranteed that they'll run in dual channel mode because you literally have no other option. All of that being said, the same rules will usually apply to motherboards that have even more RAM slots, such as one that has six slots in triple channel mode and one that has eight slots in quad channel mode. Now, a lot of people ask, what happens if you have three RAM modules and four slots? Well, if you install three sticks of RAM with a motherboard that has four slots, it won't be able to run in dual channel mode regardless of where you put them so it will default back to single channel mode. With a motherboard that has four slots and the potential to run dual channel memory, you're going to want an even number of RAM modules if you want that to happen. Hence, two or four RAM cards. One or three RAM cards will make the system run in single channel mode. But this brings us to the next question. How much better really is dual channel mode than single channel mode? Is it best to have, say, four gigabytes of dual channel RAM or eight gigabytes of single channel RAM? The answer? It depends on what you're doing. Personally, I'd say that, generally speaking, it's better to just have more RAM, because basically the more RAM you have, the more stuff and thingies you can have open and running simultaneously without readily slowing down the system. The speed of the RAM determines how quickly it can potentially communicate with the processor. POTENTIALLY communicate with the processor. Dual channel RAM gives the memory the potential to run at twice the speed of how it normally would, but without flooding you with overwhelming amounts of information, because there's so many variables and other parts in the computer that also have to communicate, there's just no way you're literally going to get twice the performance. You'll get a little bit faster performance, particularly with programs that transfer lots of data, which, according to bbomb.com, will be an average of about a 16-17% to 17 increase. But when it comes to gaming, best case scenario, you'll gain like 4 FPS, if anything. <laughs> But if that's worth it to you, by all means, go with the dual channel mode. Thank you for watching, I hope that cleared things up, and if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe for more PC, techie, and how-to videos, and if you have any video requests, again, let me know. Torx out.